Hello and welcome back. I've picked up the latest news for you so you know the market trends and you know how to invest properly. And before we start, I ask you to click the subscribe button and like button. So, a cryptocurrency rate as of today. Bitcoin is now $29,687. It is 11.03 or 01% uh, higher comparing to the previous day and 14.18% higher comparing to the previous week. The rise is incredible. Ethereum is now uh, $1,848. It is 7.55% higher comparing to the previous day and 6.06% .06 higher comparing to the previous week. BNB is now uh, $249. It is 4.10% higher comparing to the previous day and 0.72% uh, higher comparing to the previous week. So having all this in mind, let's switch to the news and see what's happening in the industry. Vitalik Buterin unveils game-changing insights for Ethereum in latest blog post. Uh, so, uh, he delves into the topic of scalability, which is a crucial aspect of, of, of for Ethereum's success. He specifically focuses on the challenges that may arise with the increasing adoption of Layer 2 solutions and explores potential solutions to address them. The growing adoption of Layer 2 projects like Arbitrum and Optimism has brought attention to the challenges that need to be addressed. One of the main concerns is how to facilitate transactions between Layer 1 and Layer 2, making it easier for users to switch between the two, uh, two layers. And Buterin discusses various methods, including Merkle proofs, uh, ZK Snark, and Vertical Trees, as potential solutions to streamline uh, this uh, process. He highlights the potential of revolutionary components like Merkle proofs, uh, which can verify data readings between Layer 1 and Layer 2. However, he emphasizes that a single Single solution may not be sufficient for the entire network's operation. Uh, it requires a combination of techniques tailored to the specific requirements uh, and limitations of each application. He also addresses the functionality and storage of wallets across different layers. But in general, if you want to get more information, you can read his latest blog post. EU Commission eases uh, crypto sector's worries with data law breakthrough. Uh, so, the European Commission has addressed the crypto industry's concerns about the impact of new EU data rules on smart contracts. Industry leaders worry that the Data Act could impose unworkable requirements on smart contracts, making them vulnerable to manipulation. The Commission has clarified that existing smart contracts will not become illegal under the new rules, but concerns about the scope of legislation remain. Um, uh, so, uh, the EU's Data Act has been the subject of fears that it could introduce unworkable requirements for smart contracts to withstand manipulation, securely reset and provide access control. A spokesperson for the Commission has sought to calm these fears, stating that existing smart contracts will not become illegal when the Data Act comes into force. However, industry leaders continue to worry that the Data Act could be more far-reaching than initially planned. Some crypto companies have pointed out that the restrictions proposed by the EU could be extremely challenging and even unworkable for the sector in some cases, citing the scrutiny of securities regulators in the US. Uh, and both branches of the EU's legislative body have approved their own versions of the text containing the controversial smart contract uh, provisions. The legislative process is ongoing. Bitcoin investors greedy for the first time since May. And it sounds interesting already. Uh, so the fear and greed index is an indicator that describes the general sentiment of investors in Bitcoin and the overall cryptocurrency market. The metric uses a numerical scale of 0 to 100 to represent this sentiment. All values above 54 on the index imply that investors are currently greedy, while values below 46 indicate the presence of fear in the market. The range between 47 and 53 represents a neutral uh, mindset. Um, so, uh, in addition to these basic emotions, there are also two specific and special conditions called extreme fear and extreme greed. Uh, the first occurs when the indicator reaches values below 25 
while the second occurs when it reaches values about 75. Historically, these two extreme emotions have been quite important in the market as bottoms usually occur during periods of extreme fear while peaks occur during periods of extreme uh, greed. So this is the current status of the Bitcoin fear and greed uh, index, as you can see. Ledger releases white paper for hardware wallet seed recovery tool. Despite facing notable criticism over the Ledger seed recovery tool, the hardware crypto wallet firm expects to launch the Ledger recovery tool in the fourth quarter 2023. Major hardware cryptocurrency wallet provider Ledger is getting closer to launching its planned solution to allow users to back up and recover Ledger device seed. Ledger Chief Technology Officer Charles Guldemad took on Twitter on June 21st to announce that the hardware wallet company has open-sourced the Ledger Recovery White Paper. Guldemad said the upcoming service is expected to be launched in the fourth quarter 2023, provided by the digital asset security firm CoinCover. The main takeaway from the white paper is that the new service is 100% secure, the CTO assured you can learn precisely how it works technically and examine the service yourself available on github the ledger recovery um, white paper provides a 34 pages long document including a technical overview of ledger solution for the backup and restoration of the hardware wallets seat leading bitcoin mining company announces bankruptcy um so the company um filed for bankruptcy with the bankruptcy court of the southern district of texas uh, houston division in the united states and uh, the bitcoin mining company stated that its liquidity has increased since the bankruptcy uh, filing so a leading bitcoin mining company core scientific has filed for the bankruptcy uh, according to the bankruptcy plan allowed uh, secured creditors will receive full and final satisfaction of their claims as of the effective date of the bankruptcy plan they will either receive full payment in cash or be treated in accordance with an agreed alternative transaction loans provided to secure dip claims will also be cancelled to secure claims on the company's assets the bitcoin mining company has also negotiated with significant stakeholders as part of the plan and the company aims to secure as many agreements as possible on how a new core scientific company will look after emerging from bankruptcy proceedings. OpenAI owners of ChatGPT uh, to launch AI App Store After launching one of the most popular artificial intelligence chatbots, ChatGPT, um, OpenAI seems to be looking to expand its influence as the company is reportedly planning to launch an AI App Store. This marketplace will allow developers and customers to sell their AI model built on top of its AI technology. Since the launch of ChatGPT, numerous companies have adopted ChatGPT to automate tasks leading to increased efficiency. Enterprise customers have also found value in customizing ChatGPT to suit their specific needs. With OpenAI's proposed marketplace, makers of such models could offer them to other businesses. The introduction of an AI app store by OpenAI uh, is a strategic move that positions the company in a favorable position within the competitive AI market. The company has made substantial progress since its launch and of course you know this um, all. But of course there are a lot of debates about AI regulation. Cosmos Blockchain Neutron reports $10 million funding round led by Binance Labs and Coin Fund. Uh, so they raised $10 million in a seed funding round led by venture firms Binance Labs and Coin Fund. Um, Dolphy, uh, Delphi Ventures, Longhash, and Nomad also participated in the round. Uh, Neutron serves as a Cosmos based network designed for writing smart contracts using Cosmos Wes Wesm a computational environment within the Cosmos ecosystem while simultaneously allowing developers to write code in the Rust programming language. Neutron aims to provide cross-chain smart contract applications for the Cosmos network of more than 50 interconnected app-specific blockchains or app chains by closely aligning with the Cosmos hub and leveraging its, sec its high security. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you good luck and I will see you very soon with a new portion of news. Bye-bye.